Robert, you uh, you called out Marquez, nothing happened. You called out Ar Amir Khan, nothing happened. You've been calling out Mayweather, it finally happens. But you were the mandatory. Did you really need to call him out? Oh, yeah, I was the mandatory for Marquez. I was the mandatory for Juan Diaz. I was the mandatory for all these guys. I called him out. And, uh, well, you know, I always sat back. I never called anybody out. You know, I just thought, hey, you're the mandatory. You know, they're going to do the right thing. But most guys never got in the way with me. So, uh, you know, had to had to step out and uh, had to step out and, and speak up a bit and call out Floyd Mayweather. And uh, you know, here we are today. We got to fight. I've been telling them to do it. I go, son, you can't be quiet no more. You got to open up, man. You know what? Don't let these guys tell you stuff. You, you know. So Robert listens to what I say. You know. And but he don't like doing it, but hey, sometimes hey, you know, he, he, he has to talk a little bit, you know what I mean? So, so, you know, it's all fun. We have a lot of fun, so that's one way we're going to be having fun, you know. But isn't that kind of out of character? Yeah, that's, you know, like we say, talk is cheap, but, you know, hey, it's all coming down to May 4th when we get in the ring. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a bit out of my character, but, uh, you know, sometimes you got to speak up. Um, sometimes you gotta speak up, and, and especially when uh, when fights are overdue and you deserve the fight. You know, sometimes you gotta say something. I know you're planning to shock the world, and I know you can't divulge how you're going to do it. But what do you expect from Mayweather? And any surprises? We all know how he fights. Um, no, I mean, no, I, I'm not expecting no surprises from Floyd. Um, you know, he's, he's going to come out and be Floyd. I mean, Floyd, that, that, that's the thing with Floyd Mayweather. Is he goes out there and he fights his fights and he don't pay attention to media. He don't pay attention to anything. He goes out there and does his job and, and he wins. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't see uh, I don't see any uh, any surprises out of him. Uh, you know, you just got to be ready for it. You know, he's been through the pay-per-view uh, big fights time and time again. This is your first. So he has the track record. He has the entourage. He has... Uh, you know the experience. How do you neutralize the playing field there? Um, you know your experiences. Your experiences. You know through all life, through all boxing. Uh, you know being in the right fights in the right position. And uh, you know, like I said, I said before, I, I put God first for everything. And um, you know, this is the opportunity to spread, spread the word and, and go out there and do my thing. And I know from the very beginning you had this dream, and now it's becoming reality. Do you ever get caught up in thinking, wow, it's actually happened, or do you prevent yourself from thinking that way? Uh, no, I, I knew it was going to happen, you know. You know, when you're, when, you're the, when, you're the patient, when you're patient, you know, good things come your way. And, uh, you know, it's here now, and I'm ready for it, and, uh, you know, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited that, uh, that I'm getting the opportunity to... Uh, to be one of the best fighters uh, in the world, so uh, you know I don't I don't think about this or think about that. I just go and do my job. So you probably don't think about the distinct underdog that most people nah, have you as. Nah, I don't think about the underdog stuff and anything like that because you know I mean it's 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 great for people who bet and do this and that, but you know you still got to get out there and fight and uh, you know you got to take care of business in the ring. Looking forward to you shocking the world. Yeah.